Hey guys, David Rock here. Uh, there's a few things I'd like to talk to you today about. Uh, it's obviously the city of Owl's Head, and uh, my computer is not very great, so I've had a few chances to upgrade, but I have not. Uh, but I've been doing fairly well with uh, the setup that I have, even though it's fairly laggy. Um, there are lots of different places to explore in Shroud of the Avatar. Um, this is actually the island of Novia. This is a, a smaller portion, uh, just an island off of the coast of uh, New Britannia. Um, New Britannia is going to be quite large. Um, this this, uh, this game is also in pre-alpha, Shroud of the Avatar uh, release. 13, I believe. Uh, so people are still able to have houses and things now, but uh, in release 14, everything's going to get wiped and everything's going to be new, and fresh, and everybody's going to start over again. It's going to be an all new uh, world for us to explore. Um, today I want to talk to you about skills and uh, just the bludgeon, heavy armor uh, setup, and just basically trying to uh, assert some level of. Um, you know, it's just some level of expertise in in, in this uh, skill trainer field here. Um, this is the town of Kingsport. Um, of course, these are player houses to the right, and uh, those will be wiped. You know, they'll, they'll be all new in, in the next release. You won't even see the same houses in the next release. Um, but uh, there's lots of skills to think about. If you have an archer, you want to be going for archer skills. And you want to have archer supported innates and resistance type of things like physical resistance. And uh, if you're a polearm, you want to have dexterity. And you know, just the same with archers, you want to have dexterity as well, uh, and not strength so much. Um, but uh, this is your place right here if you want to find the skill trainer. <coughs> The uh, in the skill training you have several options to choose from. Um, crafting isn't really impl fully implemented yet. Uh, the skills that they have aren't really there yet, but uh, that'll get all get fleshed out in the next releases and things that and the releases that come out ahead. Um, for the most part, all the crafting skills are non-existent. Uh, but you can still craft at a crafting table and create items. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about the uh, tactics tier, and uh, there's just a lot to think about when it comes to uh, having building your character. You know, um, you have a certain amount of strength that you want because it's obviously for a bludgeon character you want to have the most max amount of damage possible. Strength is the way to do that. Um, so you have several different options to choose from, but my main is this. I like that the most because it gives you strength and health. So you know you, you can look at here, you can press B, you can see your stats menu. But you know, you reduce your health by taking away your health points that you put in there. And you can put in strength as you can see it goes up. But the strength and the health go up with strength, but just health is health for some reason. So you can just use strength instead of health to increase your health. I think your health is like a secondary in this release. Um, and of course, you know, dexterity for, you know, pull arms and archers, uh, and intelligence for mages and in increasing your focus. Um, so I tried to record this earlier and the audio wouldn't uh, match up to it, so I had to have to do another recording of a narration, so it's kind of going to be kind of whacked out for a minute. But, you know, you'll get the basics just by watching the video itself. Um, <clears throat> so you have your heavy armor tier. You want to have, if you're a lock deck, you know you're going to have a lot uh, harder time, you know, executing certain things. So you want to have as much points as you can have in these these cards as, uh, as a lock deck so that way it decreases your uh, uh, what is it called it decreases your focus cost and also increases the time that you can enact the skill um, but for random decks the amount of cards that you have 
is just that. It's just the amount of cards that you have. It's not an increase to anything except for combos. You have an increased amount of combos because you have more cards in your deck that could possibly have those. Um, so you want to have lots of you know these innates that um, give give lots to physical resistance and more to strength. And uh, this is your focus tree right here. This is the locked deck focus tree. On the uh, complete right side is the random deck focus tree. Um, you can go all the way down to the bottom there, and that's that very last one is another uh, decrease to focus cost. But that's it's too many points to waste in a locked deck. It's more for random. But for the most part, everything on the left is is locked only. Um, I'll do another tutorial on a random deck and another uh, fighting style. Right now, like I uh, see, like I said, the narration is different, so it's it's jumping around a little bit because that's where I was explaining before. Uh, so yeah, it's a little wonky, but we'll go to a different point. It's basically what I was explaining. This side's blocked, and the other side's random. So. But yeah, depending on your level, you you may not be able to put as many points in each. Um, this is your, I think that's the Earth tier, Earth Magic tier. Yeah, it's the one with the twelve strength and physical resistance. Um, these are really awesome to have if you're in any kind of melee, uh, melee, however you say it. Uh, but you could, these are just necessities right here. You have to have these if you're going to be attacking with melee, and especially with heavy armor. Um, that extra strength and damage resistance helps a lot, and the damage avoidance also. Um, and that's the strength, uh, does that say strength of earth? It's really tiny for me right now. Um, those are really good, the strength of earth and the, uh, the heavy armor, uh, that one, yeah, that one, the, those both, they stack. So you can, like, get extra amount of strength when you use both of them. It's awesome, um, especially for melee. And uh, please keep in mind, this is a locked deck setup, so everything's going to be kind of looking like it's way far up in points because that's it is. Um, this is an, uh, this is also heavy armor, yeah, that give you more, more strength and less slugs. You know, less slugs is good for a random deck. But uh, I tend to shy away from slugs altogether and use the locked. I found that the locked deck is a lot easier to execute uh, skills in rapid motion too. It's almost on par with the uh, random deck. Uh, this death ray, um, you know, it's a uh, it's life leech, and I just maxed out my effectiveness with that one skill. Um, and of course, healing. You know, if you've got like a paladin character, you want to have a healing healing spells. Um, the the healing spells are actually really extensive. They go into soothing rain and you know the uh, area of effect healing spells. Uh, but I prefer healing rays and uh, the close range self heal. Basically, they're uh, they're they're pretty effective on their own right. And of course, some light. Need some light. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. You know, you want to have all your bases covered when you go into each tier. You know, each different character class, you're gonna have a specific set that you may need that would benefit your class specifically. Not just, you know, if you want to have an archer, you may not want as much damage reduction. You may want damage avoidance or evasion or more speed or just be able to run away. So those skills are in there. And, uh, you know, I'll do a few more uh, tutorials on these in the future, in the near future, but this is just the easiest one. It's just the, the, you could stand and kill like 15 wolves and you'll be fine. And, you know, skeletons basically can't kill you at all. So that's it. Um, until next time, Dave and Rock out.